what's up guys we are here at westgate palace resorts off of universal boulevard so far looking at the room it's nice <laughs> i had i was iffy coming in because the reviews that we saw and the other westgates that we've stayed at weren't the best we we'll go over the room do a room tour real quick and then i'll tell you a little bit about our check-in process which was i didn't i didn't mind it but just want to let you guys know how it went yeah as always, here's the front door, and I'm gonna pan over, and you have a, a full kitchen. Nice, I guess, dining table counter space with six chairs, so accommodate up to six people eating here. And do have a full size oven, four burners, very clean. Microwave. Very clean as well. And this place does come... Sorry, I'm short, so it's hard. <laughs> this place does come fully stocked, but there's nothing in that one. They are soft clothes, which is very nice. I don't know why it just slammed on me, but... <laughs> yeah, I actually really like these cups. So it is all glassware, so... Just, you know, just be careful. Some wine glasses up top. And then here's your plates, bowls, right here to get a coffee maker. Really nice. And then European roast coffee. This is made just for Westgate Resorts, so curious to see how that tastes. And then um, I do like like a little goodie basket for you. <laughs> for machine dishwasher detergent. Get a sponge. Um, dishwashing liquid. Some trash bags. Paper towels. Laundry detergent for your dishes? No. For the laundry you have inside your room. <laughs> right here, which is really cool. Just slam my finger. That hurt. So be careful opening that up. It does spring up, spring loaded. Just and yeah. Okay, you're checking it for the first time with us, so I didn't know if anything was in there or not. <laughs> and then to the right of that, you're gonna have a freezer with. An ice maker. Actually, let's turn that on. Get some ice going. And a full fridge. Nothing in here, which is nice. We've seen at hotels where we've had stuff in there. Dishwasher. And just a little storage. Just cutting board. Strainer. Excuse me. Come over here. Got your thermostat, which I'm actually gonna crank down a little bit. It's a little bit hotter today, around 70. You know, room phone, room service menu. So you can scan that if you wanna check out the menu. We haven't checked it out yet. Some telephone information. And little universal thing, no smoking, pen, paper, I can look at the room. Nice. There's a chandelier, hanging lights, I guess. Yeah. You looking great? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, yeah. I didn't even... Toaster. Oh, a toaster, oh, toaster and blender. Yeah. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> Knives. Gloria and I are going to, um, if we hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, we're going to juggle knives. Oh. No. <laughs> but still subscribe. <laughs> okay. Cookware. Spatula. Oh. Placemats. <laughs> Placemats, okay. Pots and pans. Yeah. Overall, it's a nice kitchen. They have a nice it's LG. Uh, I think it's an LG TV, but they put their, their logo on it. 
I want to say it's 55 inch. Nice size. Remote. Oh, they have a DVD player. Wait, wait. Wow. I would have known I was watching DVD. Yeah. <laughs> and some nice storage. And some drawers out here. You get three of them. And some more storage. Nice little table. The couch throws me off. I get it because it's probably what they used to use these are refurbished rooms uh, probably about two years ago roughly is when they got this makeover but um these look like the old couches i wish they would kind of update them because i feel like they don't fit the room like the style of it they are a little bit beat up but this is a sleeper sofa so you can have two people sleeping out here nice picture i do like these lights so each side has an individual light and they are dimmable or you can turn them off and on. I do like that, it's a nice touch, especially if you're out here, you dim the lights, watch some TV. And then um, I'm trying not to show you the, the view. That's gonna be last, the view here for this room is great. And we'll start with this. This is um, where we're staying. Um, there are two singles. I mean, we can sleep out here if we want to sleep together. Um, but yeah, two singles. Which um, they they look lumpy, like as far as like they feel lumpy. But we'll see when we sleep in them. Yeah, just your standard single beds, remote, three outlets, four USB, which is pretty nice. Some drawers right here. Oops, sorry. Put all our stuff right there. Nice window right there. A little painting, another window, and a nice uh, big cabinet. Nice wardrobe, very large, so just throw all your bags in there, which we will probably do. Clip up some space. The bag kind of squeaks. Yeah. Definitely, you can tell these are spring mattresses. So, we'll see, hopefully they're comfy. <laughs> yeah. Nice little 32 inch TV in here. Very large doors. Eh, well. A little dirty. Mm -hmm. And then right here, this door, actually we'll go around. Just coming from the room, right next to it, this little closet door, you're gonna have your iron, iron board, Ooh. broom, fire extinguisher, and a trash can. And then this room right here is the bathroom. So nice large mirror with like a lighting edge. I don't know. Yeah. Nah. Not good with words. Woodbury and Co. is what they use. So I'm actually excited to use this brown sugar and fig. I love brown sugar. Two sinks. Normally a towel goes there, but they actually have them under here so everything you need for your stay we're staying two nights got some nice drawers store like toothpaste toothbrushes stuff like that and a nice deep drawer oh, <laughs> won't fit those boxes and then under this one you're actually going to have more supplies like extra toilet paper tissues shampoo conditioner and another bath bar and then through this door you're gonna have the toilet. The nice picture. And the shower. Dun, dun, dun. Another bath bar. And then shampoo and conditioner. They use shampoo, brown sugar, and fig number one. And yeah, it's it's large. Alright, I'm I'm fat. I'm short, but I'm fat, so I take up more room. This is, you know, I can't. Oh my. So, there's plenty of room to move around in here. Is this side open? Nice. It's nice. So, I like how they use. Glass versus curtains. I'm not a big fan of curtains, but yeah, shower is pretty, pretty big. 
yeah. So probably thinking you're really gonna sleep on single beds away from each other. Well, I miss you. I miss you. The sacrifice we have to make. Yeah. Just kidding, Gloria's sleeping in there. I'm sleeping in here. Wait a minute. Narnia. Nice size bed. Um, this is the master bedroom. Um, nice picture of the Colosseum in Rome. I like you do get a fan, so I'm happy about that because I get hot at night when I sleep. Nice 32 inch TV, remote, some drawers, USBs and outlets right here, some more drawers down there, and um, no USBs or outlets over here. Maybe we can find a cord to plug it in. And then when you walk into the room, behind the door is gonna be extra pillows, blankets, hangers, and your room safe is gonna be on the ground. I wish it was kind of lifted up a little bit. That way, you know, if you have bad knees or you don't wanna bend down. <laughs> and then over to the left of the closet, you're gonna have another bathroom. Can we talk about the space right here? Hmm. Yeah. There's not much room to get to the bathroom. Yeah, so not really too much room to move around, um, but just enough. I mean, you can always like roll from over there across the bed okay. in the bathroom. But yeah, here's here's the second bathroom. Nice little backlight on the edge lighting on the mirror. Sinks again. You know, bath bars, tissues, everything you need to shower in here. Oh, hair dryer, there it is. A little, a little stained. But that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Toilet and another shower. The same um, shower as over there. I think this is a little bit smaller. Uh, it looks wider, but less long. Oh, yeah. So that was a room tour here at Westgate Palace. Um, it's a nice room, honestly. Um, and the price isn't bad. It, of course, it's gonna, it's gonna change depending on when you book. Um, but overall, this is a pretty nice place. The lobby was nice. We'll show that a little bit later. Um, so this room does have two bathrooms, two rooms and a sleeper sofa. So it sleeps up to six people. And then, um, you know, if you're staying here for a week or two, you do have a full kitchen fridge that we can cook to save a little money if needed or wanted. I like it. Interested to see how sleep is going to go with the beds. Mm -hmm. Like those beds were squeaky and, and springy. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be in here. We're not going to be separate. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll report back with that. Yeah. One thing I like about this, like, yes, it's great. Like if you have multiple people, but since it's just us, we're going to be good on towels and mm -hmm. toilet paper and tissues and all that. So yeah. that'll be nice. And we have the two bathrooms. Yes. Which by far is a game changer for us. Yeah. That way if I have to take a big old poo-poo and she has to take a poo-poo, mm -hmm. we can do it at the same time. And that's what true love is. Yeah. And we get to do two separate showers at the same time. Mm -hmm. Or if you're using the bathroom, I can take a shower. And I'm definitely doing my makeup in here, the large mm -hmm. counter space. One thing I, I like about the two Russians is imagine coming home after a long day at the park. Right. Mm -hmm. You want to shower and go yeah. to bed or shower, relax, but you're always waiting on someone or someone's yeah. always waiting on you. But with the two showers here, you're good. Yeah. So that's, that's a plus. So we'll report back with if like hot water, hot water, or water pressure. pressure. Yeah. yeah. Washer and dryer, which is a nice touch oh, yeah. as well. Sure. Check-in process wasn't bad. Uh, I'm not complaining about it. It's just, I'm not a big fan of what they do. Westgate is a timeshare hotel. So what the lady did, she checked us in, she held on to our room keys, had someone from the timeshare department, whatever he is, come over, grab our keys, take us over there, and then try to kind of, try, he wasn't trying to sell anything, he was just saying, hey, our sister hotel down off of I-4, they have a free breakfast and it's an hour of your time, they give you 150 credit for the resort to, to do the timeshare. Or not timeshare, like, just talk about right. staying there. Um, and then you get a free vacation for, and that's good for two years. When you check in, when you get to the hotel, whether it's a long flight, whether it's a long drive, you wanna go to your room. You wanna relax, unpack, and just to have 
that extra step was kind of annoying. You can tell them no, which I did. I was like, timeshare? He's like, mm, yeah. I was like, um, we're, we're good. But yeah, it's just it's something you don't want to deal with is someone trying to sell you on something after you've already paid. Especially before you've even like seen the hotel yet. Yeah, yeah. And we've stayed at the other Westgate, the one that's holding like the, the free breakfast and all that. And they're not good as far as room wise. This, if it was like this, it'd be different. But those aren't the best. I'm not complaining, just telling you, expect to be pulled over yeah. to another um, desk. It's probably about like 20 feet, not even, from the front desk to talk about timeshare. So just keep that in mind. Overall, I like it so far. And I think one of the best things about this room is the view. All right, so here's the view from the room. We got a lake viewer on the 10th floor. And uh, right over there, it's gonna be Universal Studios. Mm. Islands of Adventure, sorry. Here we go. Got Rip Ride Rocket, The Hulk, um, Dr. Doom's Free Fall, or Fear Fall, I should say. And then panning over, you have Aventura. You can see Hogwarts Castle, right? I think, I believe that's Sapphire Falls right there. Oh, yeah. And then panning over, you have Cabana Bay. New tower, well not new, but newer towers. And then Volcano Bay. You're gonna have Surfside and Dockside. So yeah, views are, are really, really nice. Down here, you have basketball court, a little play area. Okay, yeah, a little basketball court, kids' play area. I think the pools, oh, yeah, actually, I have volleyball. Oh, <laughs> place right there. Nice little dock over there, and we'll show you all this during our stay. I'm excited. I am too. Six and a half hours later. All right, so the one complaint I have that we have, I should say, um, Gloria found this out. So they have a, was it a bar? You know, like a bar and express grill. So it's like you just order from the bar and get burgers and stuff. Mm -hmm. The other thing was like the coffee shop. Oh yeah, coffee shop, like a little bakery mm -hmm. downstairs. And the uh, grab and go. Mm -hmm. They all close at four. They're all, all eight yeah. to four p.m. Like, so if you want to like come home from a long day at the park, shower, grab food downstairs, can't really do that unless you're back at like two o'clock or yeah. something. Um, it's weird. Yeah. And we were just wondering if they had some like little popcorn or like a cup of ramen or something. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they closed at four. And then we went down to the pool at like seven, eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Bars closed. Bars, yeah. Like, so bar closes at like four. So I don't know. I just feel like yeah. it's very early and usually like the grab and go is like 24 seven. Right. Like, if you need like some kind of like kind of make like extra money or something yeah or um what do you call it like the pool's open till 11 which is a good time so that's a good time for the pool but you think maybe you have the bar grills area open for a little bit longer than four which is i don't know it's just weird uh every other place we've been to is like maybe like nine ten yeah. sometimes later but, yeah i don't know it's weird <laughs> That's our only complaint so far. Showers. Uh, we both took showers at the same time in both the bathrooms and the water pressure was great. The the heat, was, it was hot. Mm -hmm. It was a good shower. So plenty of room to, to dance around in there. No. Is that what you're doing? No. Oh. It was nice actually coming, coming back. She can shower and I can shower. And yeah, it was nice. But we just pulled the covers back. We haven't been in the bed at all today. And um, so it looks like there's a crumb. Okay, in the bed. There's a crumb, and then like a little mark, which is fine. Stains are like, I mean, not stains, but like stuff like that's okay. But, like all these little, I'm trying to get, 
little hairs. Fuzz and more little hairs. And then, um, hairs and then some other stuff. Yeah, and Gloria pulled two long hair hairs off of the bed. One was like like reddish, reddish blonde. So we're gonna call downstairs and see if they can maybe swap this out. But when we called the front desk, um, on hold for probably about three, four minutes. And then someone picked up and said, um, you know, asked how can they help me? We told them like, you know, we pulled back the sheets and there were dirt, crumbs, hairs, stuff like that. So he said housekeeping is gone for the day. They don't have any housekeeping this late. And Gloria's like, oh, they leave at four. <laughs> they probably did. But. They probably did leave at four. <laughs> but yeah, so he said he'll bring up sheets, but I can put them on, so that's what we'll do. But it's kind of like, you want to sell me a timeshare? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> We're not complaining, but we're just being honest with you. And so far, how our experience is. So far, it's 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 good still. I I will not let that deter me from having a good stay, or how that stay started. But I will say, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. I've been closing at four, and then no housekeeping. Like Lori said, they probably left at four, so I have to make my own bed, which is fine. Um, it won't be as nice as you know, tucked in as as that, but. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> just throw it on there. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was weird. It brought um, our blankets. Hopefully all this is enough for this. It doesn't look like it, but I could be wrong. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is going to strip the bed. I don't know where to just... Around or In that corner. I'm scared of like, what's underneath. Right. Mattress. Are you supposed to keep that on? I think. So, I'll see if there's one of those in there. If not, then, yeah. <laughs> Look, I know it's just hair, but... No, it's gross. <laughs> it was like, it was like pubes. Like, yeah. I don't know, that kind of be disgusting, but that's what it looks like. There's so much hair on this. You can just take that off then? I don't know. I don't really know how, what, what. How did they, I want to see how they have this first. The way I can replicate it. So sheet on top. And then this blanket. There's a stain. <laughs> Mr. Stainy Stain. <laughs> Crumb. Frick. How does it get under that? That's like. Oh, uh, this is probably why they should have people make their own bed here. Probably. Yeah. Housekeeping. <laughs> Housekeeping. Huh. You want me to do this side? Not bad. I mean, a little, little thing right there. If I, I mean, it's bound to happen. They're white sheets, so it is what it is. I'm just ninety percent, eighty-five percent teasing. Oh, sounds like. <laughs> okay, and then this is the sheet that goes on next. Okay. Because I remembered. Good job. Oh my god. What? Oh my that. god. Mission accomplished. And that Larry's. Oh my god. Is there a hole in it? There's <laughs> a hole in there. Oh my god. There you fall something. <laughs> This is actually pretty soft. That's good. Should you get out? Should you get out? <laughs> this is a little tea swizzle, but instead of shake it off, just shake it out. Oh. 
do. We'll flip it because the tag show. We want the tag to show. So we'll flip it. Right? Okay. Okay. And then we dip it. Oh my. Then it's not back in there, huh? Yeah. That actually hurt my knees. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm tired. I just want to lay down. <laughs> you son of a mother. Where did you come from? Who sent you? <laughs> I'll let you live this time. Go tell your friends. <laughs> All right. I think we did a pretty fine job. Yeah. We're hired. Don't. 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 This is what I have to deal with. You don't know what's been in there. Besides just sheets. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Mm -hmm. Hours later. That was make your hotel bed with David Fox. We're going to bed now. Good night, guys. <laughs> Tomorrow. All right. So this is the A building that we're in, and right here are going to be the elevators, of the rooms. I had a little bit louder. People are coming and going. And here's the view. So they do have a volleyball court. A little playground and a basketball court and we'll show you guys that in a minute the pool is overly crowded we probably won't show too much of that but this is not the main lobby this is basically the tower that we're staying in they have two towers a and b and in tower a over to the right of the elevators they do have like a little vending stack machine because like we said earlier um things close at four here but they have some snacks that you can get, but there are stores right around the corner too. You're in between Universal Boulevard and International Drive. So it's a good location. All right, walking out. You can go that way to the pool, but we're gonna show you kind of, I believe this was Sandy Lake, right? Yeah. Sandy Lake right here. Nice little retention pond right here. I'm not gonna show the playground just cause there are, um, there are kids on it. So, you know, I respect the privacy. I'm not gonna show that. There was like a koi fish somewhere along here that we can see from the room, but I can't see it from here. But it was it was a big koi fish. Nice little little dock area. But um, yeah. Just glory up. This is Tower A. Here's a little volleyball court. It does close at seven just because there's no lights out here. And then right over here is gonna be the basketball court. All right. So the basketball court, playground, and volleyball court are behind us. We're walking over to um, another little fireplace like a fire pit area a little bit closer to the dock sorry for the wind i don't know if you can hear it or not you can't go down there but you can go over there and then walking through here open the gate you've got a nice little grill and seating area dock Here in front of the dock to the right, you're gonna have another grill set. And table. And I'm just gonna do a quick scan of the pool. It is a larger pool. Then over there, you're gonna have like a little kiddie pool. And then right over there, you're gonna have the hot tub. Right over there is the hot tub. To the right of the hot tub, going to have the fitness center. Please dry off before entering. Okay. Make sure no one's in here. No one's in here. So pretty nice. Nice gym, actually. So you have some free weights, some benches, mirror, 
uh, elliptical. Um, oh, I'm sorry, bike. <laughs> Some bikes. What are these? Elliptical. Ellipticals. <laughs> Some treadmills, we've got some water, towels, medicine balls, dumbbells, or kettlebells, I don't know whatever you want to call them. Um, got some TVs up there you can watch while you work out. Some remotes are right here. Yeah, not bad. That's actually one of the nicer gyms that I've seen, especially like how they have like these, I forgot what they're called, but they're not freeways, but. I don't know how you do that, if I did that correctly or not, <laughs> but, all right, and then you walk over here, and you look at your muscles, oh. ah. but yeah, that is the gym, fitness center right there, and over to the right, you're going to have Kind of like your bar area. It can be draft sports bar and grill. Keep in mind this does close at four. Can't stress that enough. But yeah, right here, you'll be able to order food and drinks. And then to the right of that, you're gonna have the lobby. You're gonna have like your little area to order food and drinks. So this closes at four as well. But you have like your kind of your grab and go stuff. Plenty of seating in here. And then let's stop into the arcade since it's right here. So in the arcade, right now, you can see the pool. They do have Afterburner Climate. <laughs> Alien Extermination, Dirty Driving, and uh, Centipede, Millip, what is that? Millipede. Oh, that's a, okay, that's a, I thought it was like a C and L. So I was like, Millie Peasley? <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, that makes sense. And they have Galica. But it is 50 points per swipe, which is kind of expensive. It's 25. It's 25! Glory's annoyed at me. <laughs> I'm just having fun, unlike her. Yeah, some claw machines. Some claw machines, some barber cut light. So you cut the rope and the key master. Popping back into the lobby. You have a staircase. I don't know where it leads. Magic. Nice little area to buy ticket park tickets. Right here is gonna be the front desk area, and then over there is where they pull you to, um, pull you to kind of, kind of do the timeshares and stuff like that. But yeah, they do have a. We probably serve Starbucks. And that back there is that um, little shop, like little grab and go. Mm -hmm. Goes that forward too. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's everything <laughs> all right so that's gonna do it here at westgate palace in orlando uh, overall it was a great stay um you know a few issues we had was the bed bed she's being a little bit dirty with like felt like crumbs dirt fuzz um uh was i when i said crumbs dirt hair fuzz stuff like that but they replaced it and those were clean so so that was you know easy fixed but I, I hate how everything closes at four. Uh, it's kind of like, ugh, come on. Uh, especially like like you said earlier, is uh, you want to you know come back home and have a drink or something. You really can't because it closes at four. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would definitely stay here again. Yeah. I don't think I would pay like a lot of money to stay here, but I would definitely stay. Here. Yeah. If you like these kind of videos, definitely like and subscribe. We do 
hotel videos all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.